This is essentially the place for sea turtle nesting in the Western Hemisphere, and it's one of the very few uh, nesting beaches that is associated with a university with a really strong uh, internship program and uh, a really strong educational program and research program as well. So historically, the program, the UCF program, has focused on the nesting beach, and there are 30 years of nesting beach data associated with the Car Refuge, which is one of the longest data sets in existence in the world for sea turtle nesting. So we have a 30-year project in the Indian River Lagoon as well, and the in-water program focuses on uh, coastal juvenile turtles, the larger turtles that come in off of the oceanic stage into nearshore waters where they continue to grow and develop into adults. And I mean, sea turtles are resident in the lagoon, so they're part of the ecosystem. They are a protected species, so it's really important to understand how that ecosystem may or may not affect those turtles. And with a 30 year plus data set, we're able to examine some of those key questions and how many turtles we're catching at times when there are harmful algal blooms. Uh, we do have tissue samples and we have blood samples that we can look at for a variety of different tests as well. I try to incorporate new technologies and remote sensing and different approaches to answer some questions that are really hard to answer uh, on the ground or in a boat or on the water. UCF has had a very long-standing uh, presence out here at the beach and on the coast. And the, I mean, the data from our projects has helped develop the refuge here. It, was, it contributed to the development and the establishment of the refuge. Part of what I'm trying to do is create a center for whole life history research where we take advantage of the phenomenal resources here at the Car Refuge with the adult nesting and the hatchling information that we can get and research that we can do here. The in-water work near shore with the larger older juveniles and then some of the work that I'm doing with the younger juveniles to complete the whole picture. It's going to allow us to be able to build on our partnership and the foundation that was established by Dr. Earhart and all of the research that's gone on to date. Uh, there's a lot of potential and this is really the center for sea turtle research and conservation. So I think that we can capitalize on that.